I always had a challenge with my relaxed hair. Not that it wasn't doing well, but it just didn't feel, I, I, I didn't feel like always going to the salon, always having to, I, I didn't really feel like doing all that. And that's how Dorin Mate started to keep natural hair. And I love the control natural hair gave me. I just loved it. Dorinda began experimenting and later decided to share experiences on social media. And whatever I was learning, whatever I was doing to my hair, whatever I was working, I just put it out there so that other people who are interested in the natural hair and want to go on the journey can also learn from my experience and then try the things I was trying. That in future would jumpstart her entrepreneurial journey. Dorinda went from sharing experiences about keeping natural hair on social media to helping people get products for their hair. After getting a hang of how the products were made, she started making them herself. Every Wee Naturals product is carefully formulated with the hands from local ingredients. So this is black soap, okay. which is popularly known as Alata Samna. So this is how we, we start prep. Right? Yes, this is how we prep it. So all of these are black soap that we are prepping to okay. use for a shampoo. <laughs> all of these? Yes, yes. Dorinda makes about 500 to 1,000 bottles of hair products on a daily basis. In just about three years, she's grown her business successfully with 145 retailers all over the country and footprints in eight other African countries. Her business is putting faith in Made in Ghana products. The good thing for us is those who have tried our products love it so much that they are referring us to other people. So we have a lot of word of mouth. We have a lot of people calling in to say, my sister used it, my friend used it, and I want to try it, and her hair is, is flourishing, so I want the same thing. So we've had a lot of that. So that's a good side of it. It's a huge market, and we are struggling to stay in there and to grow. Yes, it's a struggle because the market is huge and the demands are growing by the day. It's also reflective of a growing desire among African women to keep natural hair. Would this, however, change Dorinda's mode of production? Right now, all our products are handmade and we are looking at expanding, but we, are not we, are not, we don't want to move too far away from that. What we want to do is, as we are expanding, we are getting more hands on deck, we are getting more staff to be able to help us do what we are doing, but on a bigger scale. We don't want to lose the natural touch, we don't want to lose the human part of it. So yes, we'll be expanding, but we are not looking at using huge, we are going to use machines in different ways, bottling, um, labeling, etc. in future, but then when it comes to the making of the product itself, we want to keep it baby, we want it to be handmade and we want to have a personal touch to it. One thing Dorinda would totally not let go of is the use of the internet to market her We Naturals products. Social media has done wonders for her. It's been a challenging and exciting entrepreneurial journey for the mother of three. The former customer service manager is currently exploring markets beyond Africa. If there's any advice she has for budding entrepreneurs, it is to save.